in this day Kalpana here in this video we are going to see a problem from mathematical induction so in this video I'll be asking a question simple question so put it on paper sort it out and leave your answers in the comments okay so let's get started problem using the mathematical induction show that for any integer n greater than equals to 2 3 power n is greater than n square solution so we are given statement 3 power n greater than n square and we have to show that the statement is true for any integer n greater than equals to 2 okay n greater than equals to 2 is nothing but for n equals to 2 we are given equal to right so we'll get so we can take for n equals to 2 3 4 5 and so on right which are integers okay fine let p of n be the given statement Then P of n such that 3 power n is greater than n square with n greater than equals to 2. Okay. Since we are given n greater than equals to 2, so firstly we'll check for n equals to 2. That is, we'll show that the statement is true for n equals to 2, and we'll assume that the statement is true for n equals to k. And finally, we'll show that the statement is true for n equals to k plus 1. Okay? Fine. When n equals to 2, consider LHS 3 power n. Put n equals to 2, then you'll get 3 square equals to 9. Now coming to RHS. Put n equals to 2 in RHS. 2 square is 4. So it's clear that 9 is greater than 4. Therefore, 9 is greater than 4, which is nothing but LHS is greater than RHS. Therefore, P of n is true for n equals to 2. Therefore, P of 2 is true. Okay. Likewise, we can check it for n equals to 3. When n equals to 3, 3 cube is 3 into 3 is 9, 9 into 3 is 27. And 3 square is 9. Therefore, 27 is greater than 9. LHS is greater than RHS. Therefore, P of n is true for n equals to 3. That is P of 3 is true. Right? So you can also check it for n equals to 4, 5, 6 and so on. For any integer which is greater than equals to 2. Right? So let's assume that P of n is true for n equals to k. Then P of k such that 3 power k is greater than k square. Okay, we have assumed that the statement is true for some n equals to k. So this is true, right? So we can use this, use this statement. Now, we'll prove for n equals to k plus 1. Okay. So let's consider LHS 3 power k plus 1 for n equals to k plus 1 for n equals to k plus 1. Okay. We can split this as 3 power k into 3. Right. Since we are having 3 power k is greater than k square. So this term must be greater than k square into you are having 3 
right nothing will change if you want you can check it okay when k equals to 2 we'll get 3 square into 3 equals to 3 is a 9 into 3 is 27 coming to RHS 2 square into 3 is 2 to the 4 into 3 3 equals 12 it's clear that 27 is greater than 12 so this is correct this statement is correct right We have a statement from mathematical induction that 3n square is greater than n plus 1 whole square for n greater than equals to 2. So using this statement, we'll show that the statement, given statement is true for n equals to k plus 1. Okay, fine. So leave this greater than symbol here. You're having k square into 3, right? You can write this as 3 into k square, right? Also, using the statement for n equals to k, you'll get 3k square is greater than k plus 1 whole square, which is nothing but this 3k square is greater than k plus 1 whole square, right? Which is RHS for n equals to k plus 1. Okay. So, LHS for n equals to k plus 1, that is 3 power k plus 1, is greater than n square for n equals to k plus 1. Right. So, therefore, P of k plus 1 such that 3 power k plus 1 is greater than k plus 1 whole square. Right? So, here comes the question. So, for what values of k, the statement satisfies? Okay? So, leave your comments. We'll read all your comments. Okay? Therefore, P of n is true for n equals to k plus 1 whenever P of k is true. Thus, P of 2 is true and P of K plus 1 is true. So, here you can include a step. Therefore, P of K plus 1 is true. Whenever P of K is true. Okay. Fine. Now coming to this. P of k plus 1 is true whenever P of k is true. Therefore, by the principle of mathematical induction, The given statement is true for any integer n 
n greater than equals to 2. So this completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from mathematical induction in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then. Bye bye.